So we're just here in the village of Ashiri, which is central north Sardinia, on the road between Olbia and Sassari. There's a site here next to a chapel called Santa Stefano, and this is an amazing rock cut tomb but it's just got small niches in it but it's incredibly sophisticated i've only seen one photo online we've not seen any details about it so we've managed to find the site and we're going to go in now and just hope we can actually find it because it reminds me very much from the photos i've seen of what we find in peru the amazing rock cut pieces in very hard crystalline stone so to find that here in sardinia suggests there was a very advanced neolithic megalith building culture Look at this beautifully cut stone here and you can see the little circles just around the edge here. It's difficult to see, it's like the midday sun, but the circles cut all the way around there. This is one of the many rock carvings in this area. This is the main block here, which is extremely reminiscent of ancient Peru. You can see all these niches and cuts, a huge circle probably representing the solar disk. So here we have these kind of curved triangular niches. Now this is an interesting one. This almost looks like one of the giant's tomb's entrance stones. And you can see they carved across in the top part. And also in the bottom part here, there's more carvings. You can actually see within that, there could be something else. And that even there looks like a giant's tomb, or at least a representation of the entrance stone. We have more examples going all the way along this huge piece of rocky outcrop. Precision carved, you can see circles carved all around these kind of windows. And here, again, we have the square on the bottom, kind of pyramid shape above with steps in it and a cross carved into it. And you see all these indentations. It's very reminiscent of Peru. I mean, you see, you see stones like this at Saxebo Man and many other places. And here is what could be some kind of solar disk with circles all the way around the larger circle. And you can see they've carved more recently, I would imagine, because of the chapel here across inside it. This is amazing. This is some kind of libation table with circles and cut marks all the way around it. And just next to it on this rock, just below it, you can see a kind of oblong shape, almost like an ax shape carved out of the rock. So it's very impressive. We have the main chapel here, and then that's the main rock just there with all the carvings on, but we have more here. You can see like a ledge is being carved out of this one with more windows and kind of steps. Then over here, we have a whole line, almost like a cross really, of different cut marks all in a line. And then back there, probably the most impressive one is just three squares cut out of the rock like windows absolutely amazing so what this is doing here we don't know but this is probably neolithic part of the aziri culture i believe artifacts were found linking it to that era at least three or four thousand bc This is amazing. This is one massive piece of granite here. I think it's granite, it could be schist, 
with three windows carved in it, perfect squares. This is highly reminiscent of Sacsay Woman in ancient Peru. So we have to question how they were doing this with this incredibly tough rock. This is one of the most impressive pieces here behind me. You can just see the way it's carved. You know, what, what is going on here? Who was doing this? Is the Aziri culture, were they master stonemasons? We know they could cut hypogeums in, with incredible sophistication out of incredibly hard rock. So it looks like they were working on granite outcrops like we have here, like we find in Peru, we find examples even in different countries as well. There's examples in Japan that are very similar to this. So there seems to be this worldwide culture that just loved to make things really difficult for themselves and carve out of solid, incredibly tough crystalline rock. Just even further away from the main church, we have this huge oblong with other lines and indentations carved into the rock. So this fine example of rock carving here, whether they were just practicing here, whether it was some sacred ceremonial center or something else, we really don't know, but it's amazing that it's still here. It's classed as a Domus de Janus, like a fairy house, but I haven't seen any caves going into, or into the rock or hypergeums, just carvings like you know, relatively shallow carvings into this incredibly hard crystalline rock.